Now, if we look for the classification of the carbohydrates, uh, we have further more classification like depending upon the uh, number of components which are present in sugar, that means uh, number of sugar molecules which are present, we have already done monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, polysaccharides, but now we have few more classification. The one is that we can classify depending upon their form, taste or solubility in water, we classify them as sugars or non-sugars. So what are sugars? Sugars are typical sugars as you all know they are sweet crystalline solid, soluble in water, taste sweet already done, example glucose and fructose. As you all know they are soluble in water also, they taste sweet also and they are crystalline solid. But non-sugars are those which are amorphous that means they are powder formed and they are tasteless, they does not uh, taste sweet, they are insoluble in water like starch and cellulose. You know that cellulose is actually synthesized, is a component of the plant cell wall, you know that it is tasteless and amorphous and it is regarded as non-sugars. Likewise, we can classify the sugars further into reducing and non-reducing sugar. As the name suggests, reducing one is that which can easily reduce the toluene reagent, felling reagent, uh, like if, we did, if it reduced toluene reagent is indicated by the formation of silver mirror, we will be doing that. And if, if it can reduce the felling reagent, that means it can uh, form a reddish brown substance that is the copper oxide. So if we have sugars, we can actually do these things and non-reducing one are those which cannot reduce toluene and felling solutions. So we will look for that when we will study in detail, you will be able to know that what kind of sugars actually uh, we can classify that is uh, reducing and non-reducing sugar, or what are the reasons behind that why they are able to reduce and why they are not able to reduce. So this is what is the classification, now we are going to start with the, we'll go, we are going to elaborate monosaccharides now and there you will see the test also because by this test we can actually distinguish between the uh, fructose and the glucose, we will be looking in that, so just uh, start with the monosaccharides.